Beth from ScrappingWonders.com and today I'm going to show you how to incorporate the collages in the Project Life app and how to incorporate that into your scrapbooking. So I've shared with you before that the app does have the collage feature. So if you don't have a Fusel app or a collage app or Pick Stitch app, this works. You don't have to purchase any of those apps or any of the in-store features in those apps. So what I did there was I clicked on the collage setting and you can see you have, you can make it just a 12 by 12, which that would just be a 12 by 12 photo. You can do a four by six photo landscape portrait. Then this is where you get two three by fours, two three by fours. And then this is four photos on one four by six. I'm not quite sure what size they actually measure out to. I don't generally use that that particular collage. And then there's this one where it's basically a four by four and two two by twos. And this is the same thing, just flipped. And then here we have um, six two by twos and then six by eights you get into. So I think it's great that they give us all of those sizes. So I'm just gonna quickly show you um, two different things here. So one is I'm going to make a collage. Let me grab a photo here to all photos. And I am going to have to scroll a little bit. I'm going to grab this one. And I think I look a little funky, so I'm going to crop myself out and move the photo. Then I'm going to grab another one here. And I will grab one more. I think I will actually take both of these. Okay. So here we go. Now I have a collage. And export. I'm going to save the image. And that's saved. Now the other thing I want to show you, I'm going to grab another format here. I am going to do this and we're going to change the photo. Let's pick something else. So here we go. I have a photo here, but here I am going to choose a journaling card. I'm going to grab this one. And I think that's perfect. Okay. Or do I want an actual journaling card, something to write on? I don't think so. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Then I'm going to export. Save that image. And then I'm going to go close this out. Then I can come over here to the Project Life app. So here I am in the Project Life app. And I'm going to grab one of my collages. And then I'm going to come over here and put the other collage. So you see I've, what I've managed to do by adding the collage is I'm able to get even more photos on my layout. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab this photo and I'm going to grab another photo as soon as I find one. I think I'm going to go with this. Cancel and let's go with this one. No, I don't think I want that one. This 
this one. And then here I will stick with the playful addition. I'm going to grab a journaling card. And I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to grab that. And out. go. Let's zoom out. Okay. Then I'm going to grab a color, which I usually tend to go with gray. And we're going to grab some journaling. So I'm going to journal on this and then I will be right back. Okay, so here I am and I am back and I have completed the journaling on my layout. I'm just going to briefly just go over one more time in case you didn't see it in uh, my previous video from week two. But here we have the journaling tool. So if I click on this, the F brings me to the different types of fonts that are available within the app. I'm going to stick with the one that I have. The A brings me to the sizing and I'm not going to mess with that. Um, my only complaint about this app is that is that it's a slider and it does make it hard to sometimes get the font size that you want through the app. The next thing I'm going to show you is um, this is the line spacing. So I can lengthen it, shorten it, go all the way. I'm going to go there. And then this one with the two little arrows is the where you're going to have it. So if you want to move it down, up in the middle of your journal card. And then this is the justification. And I'm going to leave it as left aligned. So there's that layout and that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export and 12 by 12 as usual. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my image. And I'm going to close this out. Now the last thing I'm going to talk to you about in regards to collages is that you can come over here, you can grab this, pick a photo. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to pick some photos. And let's see, get this one. And I'm going to pick another photo, this one, and I'm going to export this, and I'm going to save my image, and I'm going to do one more, oops, didn't mean to hit the close button, and I'm going to get my, I'm going to do this one. photos. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to resize it to crop out some of those people in the background. And then, let's see. I want No, that's not a very good photo. I'm going to grab that. And that. And I'm looking for two more photos. And now one more photo. Okay. So I have these photos, I have a collage, I'm going to go ahead and export, I'm going to save that image, 
and we're gonna close this out I'm done with this it's also saved in my project life library and what I can now do with this is come over here to my Canon app grab it in my photo albums you see here I have photo select and select and I can print these two images to my printer in my Canon selfie and then I can use them on a layout so I will do that and I will share those results with you a little bit later thanks for watching this quick tutorial from scrappingwonders.com please feel free to go ahead and give me the thumbs up